Hi, this is a basic tutorial for creating foliage for games by taking it from ZBrush to Substance Painter to Unreal Engine. In ZBrush, open up a thick plane. Scroll down to Subtools and then click Append and then click Cube. Scale a cube smaller and thinner and move it to the centre just in front of the plane. Go to Brush, Auto Masking and select Back Face Mask. With Symmetry on, you can just start sculpting your leaf now. You can go as realistic or as stylized as you want, it's completely up to you. I've gone for just a generic kind of oak leaf I guess, but whatever shape you want to go for is fine. For the brushes I'm mainly just using the move brush and also the um, trim dynamic one just to give it that kind of chunky beveled edge, but that's just my preference, you can make it however you want. I'm using a rectangular mask and rotating it from the middle just to make it look like it's creased in in the center, and then just continue polishing your leaf. Move it to the side and duplicate the subtool. This is just to give some variation to your plant, so I usually go for a slightly different proportion. So for this one, I've gone for a shorter, fatter leaf. And then just start moving it around to break up the symmetry and make it look different to the other leaf. Click append and make another cube. This one's like a blade of grass just to ground the model, but you can make as many leaf variations as you want. And then just start sculpting your blade of grass. I'm using a mixture of the move and pinch just to make it taper at the end. Rearrange your subtools on the plane. I ended up moving mine to the other side of the plane. And then just export all your leaves and your plane. In whatever 3D modeling software you use, create a plane that's the same size and uses the same UV space as the thick plane in ZBrush. Export that and bring it into Substance Painter. In Texture Set Settings, select Bake Mesh Maps. Add your leaves to high definition meshes. Play around with the max frontal and max rear distance. This depends on how far away your leaves were from your plane. Set it to the resolution you want. And I turn down the dilation. In Mesh Map Baker, select Opacity. Select Bake Selected Textures and it should look like this. To see it with the opacity, go to Shader Settings and select With Alpha Test. Then create a fill layer and with just opacity selected, add in your opacity mask. Create a fill layer just with colour and roughness selected and in your base colour just make it like a dark green. Create another fill layer, right click that and select filter and to filter select baked lighting stylized. Change the blending mode to soft light. I've got another video explaining this a bit more thoroughly but just play around with these settings until you like it. <laughs> now create a paint layer and just start painting in some more details. I like to add in a lot of hue variation in this stage and add in some more finer details to the leaves. Create another fill layer only with Roughness selected. In Roughness just select a random grungy texture, you can change this later. Adjust the grunge texture. This stage really depends on how realistic you want the lighting. I personally like to add a blur slope filter to this, just because I like how it looks when it's in engine, but it really depends on the style you want to go for. Create a fill layer with just colour selected and in base colour add your curvature map. Add a filter and select gradient curve and then adjust the settings until they're quite high contrast. Again this is just your personal style but I add another blur slope filter here just because I think it softens it up a little bit. Add a fill layer to that fill layer and make it green. And then in blending mode select colour. And then just mess around with the colour and the opacity of that layer until you've got the effect you want.
I ended up changing the grunge texture to the clouds texture in my roughness layer. Go to File and Export Textures and you're done. I take it into Photoshop here just because I find it easier to assemble the plants in Maya like this. So I import the opacity mask and then use the magic wand tool to delete the black section of it. Then I import my base colour and make a clipping mask using the opacity layer below. Here you can make any adjustments you want to it, I just change the levels a little bit. Delete the background and export as a PNG. In your 3D modeling software, create a plane and turn the subdivisions down to 1. Give it a material and make the base colour the one we made in Photoshop. Using a cutting tool, cut around the texture. Delete the surrounding faces. Add an edge loop down the centre and add a few going down the length. Next just cut around the leaves, this doesn't have to be perfect. Using soft select, start shaping the leaf. Make sure the pivot is where the leaf would be attached to a stem. Duplicate the blade of grass and make a few variations. For the stem, create a cylinder and lower the subdivisions. Make it thinner and delete the bottom face. Make it taper and put edge loops down the height. Put the pivot at the bottom. Move it to under the leaf and shape it to a natural curve. Combine the meshes and realign the pivot so it's at the base. Now you can start assembling your plant. So just duplicate these two meshes a bunch of times with different scales and rotations. And then you can add the blades of grass around the plant. Turn off the lights to check if the silhouette of your plant looks good. Now I'm going to change the vertex normals on the foliage. Create a sphere and make it only just bigger than the plant. Select the sphere and then the mesh and then select mesh transfer attributes. Go to the box to the side to get the options. Copy the options on screen. It should look ugly and gross in Maya, but it will look better in Engine. Export it as an FBX. Import your mesh and your textures into Unreal. This is a scene I'd already made, so I just duplicated the mesh around a few times. Create a material for your leaves. In your material, select Masked and Two-Sided Foliage and make sure Two-Sided is selected. Drag and drop your textures in. Drag everything into the outputs and take the alpha from your base colour and put that into your opacity mask. The roughness isn't right now I'm looking at it, and even though I would go into Substance to change that, I'm going to just change it in Engine right now. To change that, create a Multiply node with the A channel coming from the roughness map, and then promote the B channel to a parameter. Hook that into the roughness and save the material. And now you get real-time feedback for changing the roughness. To create an easy wind effect, create a simple grass wind node. Then right click all the options and promote them to parameters. Hook that into world position offset. 
save your material and then just start messing around with all the wind settings. This is a personal preference for how windy you want your scene to look. 